My name is Chris Gaysford and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to install hacks for Home Assistant. And if you don't already know what hacks is, it's kind of like the Mary Poppins bag of add-ons for Home Assistant. You can think of it as the supervisor store that has a lot more integrations than what you currently get out of the box. Um, Hacks is actually called the Home Assistant Community Store because it's going to give you access to a lot of the plugins built inside of the community. This is going to give you access to more add-ons, custom cards, and even themes for your Home Assistant. In order to add hacks to your system, you're going to need SSH access, which I actually have a video on and you can find it in the top corner here and you'll need a GitHub account. To actually install this, we're going to go ahead and SSH into our Home Assistant box. And then from here, we're going to open up the documentation provided by hacks at hacks.xyz. There will be a link in the description. But we're just going to go ahead and press installation, go over to their installation docs, and then since we are using Home Assistant OS in this video, we're just going to copy the command here, and then just paste that into our Home Assistant terminal. And then we're just going to go ahead and let it run. It should only take a few seconds to actually run, and as you can see here, we need to go ahead and reboot our home assistant to actually see that it has been installed so we're going to go ahead and reboot then once home assistant boots back up we should be able to go to our configuration integrations page and then add a new integration and you should be able to search for and find a new integration called hacks now go ahead and click on that um, it's going to take a few minutes for to try and install the Hacks extension. Um, it might not work the first time. Um, mine definitely didn't. So if you get an error message that says that it was unable to install because of the config, go ahead and just reboot your Home Assistant one more time and that should resolve this problem for you. Then just like before, we're gonna go back to our integrations page and go ahead and re-add that hacks extension. Um, it's gonna take a few minutes. I went ahead and sped it up here so you didn't have to sit through it. But once it does successfully install, you're gonna to have to agree to their user agreement prompts. Um, there's four of them here, so just go ahead and agree to those. And then you should be able to move forward and it's gonna give you a GitHub access key. And so you're going to have to click on the link there and then it's going to ask you to log into GitHub. And then once you get logged into GitHub, just take that access key and paste it or type it out into GitHub. And then once you've done all of that, you should be good to move forward and actually allow that hacks integration into your GitHub account. And then from there, just say, OK, we don't have to assign it to a certain area. And then on our left hand side, you can see we now have a hacks button that we can access. And this is our hacks extension. And as you can see, it is starting up. If you click on the about section and you can actually look at the number of repos that it has pulled in. And we're going to just wait until it pulls in all the repos. Then once you have that fully installed and it has all the repos, you can launch the integrations. And here we have just a bunch of integrations that add functionality to our Home Assistant. This is going to be like new plugins, extensions, um, just different components that you can add to give your Home Assistant more flexibility. You also have front end components. This is going to change kind of like how your front end works as far as themes and custom cards to show stuff differently. Um, we're going to go ahead and just install a theme in this video just to make things easy. Um, just kind of browsing around, I saw a good iOS dark theme. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install that one just to try it out. So all you have to do is press install. Um, it's going to ask you the version. Of, I just went ahead and pressed install here. Um, I just wanted the latest stable version. So, And then once you do have that installed, um, it's good to go ahead and check to see if it's going to work right out of the box but in this case it didn't. So if we go over to our profile and try to add a theme, it's not, nothing's happening. So we actually do need to modify our configuration a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the repo for that theme. 
or the extension there um, and find the installation steps. It's, it's quite a ways down, but looks like we have to add some stuff to our configuration.yaml file. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this here. And then we'll go ahead and launch our file explorer inside of Home Assistant and go over to that configuration.yaml file. And we're just going to go ahead and add that line of code in here. Then I went ahead and cleaned up these extra lines here that weren't needed for this project specifically. Um, they were just comments left by the creator of this project. Then go ahead and save that. And then we're not quite done yet. There is one more line we need to add to our lovelaceui.yaml. And how to modify that is you go to your overview. This is your Lovelace board. And then you're going to go ahead and edit dashboard and then edit the raw configuration. And then this is our raw configuration for our UI.yaml. And we're just going to add this line, this background line up at the very top, press save. Once that has been completed, we just need to go ahead and reboot our home assistant again to see those configuration changes. So we're going to go ahead and go to our configuration, scroll down until we see server controls, check our configuration just to verify that it is in fact valid. Um, if it's not valid, go ahead and double check your work here and then go ahead and reboot Home Assistant. Then once Home Assistant has been fully rebooted, go ahead and go to your profile and then you should be able to select a theme. In this case, I just went ahead and grabbed the red dark theme and voila, you can see we now have a custom theme on our Home Assistant making it look fancier and a little bit smoother and nicer than it did before. Um, if you do have any questions about this, go ahead and leave them down below. I will try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video on how to set up hacks for Home Assistant. If this is a video that you liked, go ahead and like the video and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're into Home Assistant stuff. I'm going to be doing some more Home Assistant-y and more just more techie themes in the future so if that's stuff you're into stick around I'd really appreciate it um, I saw that we were over 600 subscribers which is just absolutely crazy to me so I want to just give you guys a big thank you um, thanks for sticking around to the channel and watching what I have to put out um, this is a different style of video than I've done in the past and you guys have probably realized that while watching it um, I did one more video like it it was the z-wave um, integration to the new Z-Wave JS video. Um, if these are type of videos that you guys like style-wise, um, I know they're a lot more straight to the point, a little bit quicker. Um, so if these are videos you like, definitely let me know down in the comments down below. Um, I really enjoy making them. Or if you liked videos where I sit and talk to the camera like a big dum-dum, um, maybe that's something you're into, just let me know. I'm just kind of playing around with things, trying to figure out um, how I'm going to make videos going forward. So I would definitely like your guys' feedback on that. Um, again, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.